So hey guys, um, this video will be a short video showcasing how to mount a USB storage device into the RSOS virtual file system. So um, first of all, you plug your USB drive into your Raspberry Pi and then you have to open the web desktop interface like the one I shown here. So um, go to system settings. And then under the advanced options, disk manager, you will see your USB storage device shown here as SDA1. The number of the, um, the, the, the name of the storage device might be different depending on what your configuration on your device is, but mostly start from SD and then with an alphabet and then a the number. So, um, in here, I got an ATFS USB drive, and if you didn't format it beforehand, you can right-click it, format drive, and then select your preferred um, file system format. If you are not going to use it on Windows anymore, you can select ext4, or otherwise, I would recommend NTFS. Next, click format. And then it will take a while to format the drive, and after the formatting finish, you will see like this, yeah. And then the next thing is that you need to create a mount point for the SDA one. Um, you can use your PuTTY or SSH terminal, or otherwise you can use this built-in tool called .stty. CD into the media folder, and then create a new directory called storage one. So as you can see here, storage one. Um, the ls command lists what folders of files currently inside this folder and make the storage one means create a folder named storage one. You can name it whatever you like as soon as you remember it. And then next things, go back to the disk manager refresh this tape and then right click mount drive select media storage one or the folder you just created and click mount okay now the usb drive has mounted into your linux operating system however if you want to mount this drive into rsos you will need to set up the file system handler so go to the disk and storage storage pools and you can see that uh, the system groups are all listed here um, in my case I want to set up the this storage device only accessible by administrator so select administrator edit storage pool next you will see a button here called new file system handler click on it and then give a name to your new storage devices so, um, for example, I'll just call it storage one, and then user ID is the path starting of these storage devices. So I will give it S one. Um, remember, never put space here. So uh, the path, the path is the mount point of the storage device on the system. So in my case here, I will set it to media storage one. access permission you can choose to be read only or read write i will set read write and then for hierarchy i will set it to public access folders so um, users are not isolated between each other so every administrator can upload or delete files or folders that's created in this storage pool so um if you want the system to be mounting the device automatically on startup so you can set up via the uh, physical disk settings it just works like just like the uh, uh, FS tab on Debian, so um, you can set it up if you want to. And in my case, this is a just a portable hard disk, so it doesn't necessary to be here. So click create, and now the settings has been applied. However, it is not mounted yet, so we need to exit the edit storage pool utilities, and then reload the selected storage pool. So now um, the storage pool is reloaded, and you can see that there is a new 
storage one shown up in here. And uh, to access it, open your file manager, and then you can see the new storage one being mounted here. And to drag your files or folders into it, just do what you normally do, um, like um, Control C and then Control V. And then the file will be written into this new storage devices. And to unmount it, simply reverse the process, um, edit storage pool, and then select the storage pool you want to unmount, click the cross button, remove handler, and then it will still showing that the system is still mounted. So um, you have to exit the utilities and reload the storage pool. So the storage pool is reloaded and the storage one has been unmounted from the system and the, it will also get disappeared from your file manager as well. So this is it. This is the short tutorial on how to manage your storage pools and insert new storage devices into your Raspberry Pis. Thank you.